Well, hello everyone. This is Patty Vula here. You know, I have, I am so excited to be doing this vlog. It has been two years, two years. Well, for many reasons, you know, I haven't been vlogging. I have, uh, we have moved house. Oh my goodness. Well, can you imagine moving house during lockdown? Well, we did it. Okay. Due to illness, touring, Ill oh, all sorts of things things I have just not been able to sit down and vlog and then of course my grand well my third grandchild my granddaughter lovely granddaughter made an appearance two weeks ago into the world so so excited and I can't wait to start vlogging again well this is my first vlog as I said in two years and to be honest with you I just want to dedicate this to the greatest woman of our time Queen Elizabeth. Well, being her 70th year on the throne, wow, we, I mean, this is amazing. And, you know, just catching up with, thank God for catch up television, catching up with all the Jubilee celebrations, it just brings to mind the wonderful memories of being on the Golden Jubilee Steering Committee. Oh, that was just such an Anna, I can't tell you. I had to put together 5,000 gospel singers from all ethnic backgrounds from the ages of, I think, the youngest was 14 to 89. And people from all walks of life, it was, it was so much fun. But my goodness, it took me 12 months work, 18 hours a day, seven days a week to get them together. Okay, so it was no mean feat. I mean, on, in the program, no wonder Major Sir Michael was, Michael Parker was so complimentary about the work I did. I am so proud of that, you know. And I, then I had to walk in front of them, lead them up the mile. You have all seen it, actually. Every clip, every documentary that has been made so far of the diamond, Jubilee and the Platinum Jubilee have had this my bit in it. It's a pity, be, you know, that the BBC does not credit me with it. 12 months work. That is because on the day of the Golden Jubilee, a lot of you probably saw it, right? There was, while I was working hard leading my 5,000 up the, down the mile to Buckingham Palace, there was some black guy from I don't know, Songs of Praise, sitting there with Dimbleby taking all the credit for my, I don't even know who he was, all the credit for my 12 months work, you know, but that's just the BBC for you. But anyway, I was so excited. It was, oh my God, it, I just let them down in a choral, spectacular tribute to Her Majesty the Queen. With every new section of the parade, more surprises, more contrasting memories. From Patti Boulay and the UK's largest ever gospel choir. And I'm not, I'm not surprised that it keeps being used. I also realised that um, I had not really spoken about the jubilee you know no i've spoken about the jubilee but i've never shared it i haven't shared the jubilee so when i went on google just to find out you know um post on the golden jubilee i couldn't find any of mine that's because i wasn't posting and i hadn't shared it so today i am so excited to be sharing everything with you every single thing i am I assure you, my involvement in the Golden Jubilee Steering Committee was just the highlight of my life. Okay, Her Majesty indeed has been a great part of my life and my career. See, I treasure, oh, I received, after the Golden Jubilee, I treasured this signed photo given to me by Her Majesty as a thank you for my part in the Golden Jubilee on the Golden Jubilee Steering Committee and I'm so proud of this. I'm so proud of it. On the th Thursday, 21st of April 2022, the Royal Society of St. George had 
St. George had a, a reception of the Houses of Parliament in the Speaker's House. I was um, to propose a loyal toast. It was organized by Andrew Rosendale, MP for Romford. And the Speaker of the House, as it was Her Majesty's 96th birthday, the Speaker of the House was to open the celebrations with a tribute to the Queen. But at the last minute, he was required to take the chair in the Commons. And I was asked to take his place at the very last minute. Well, I would like to share my speech with you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Patty Boulay. Thank you very much, Andrew, for giving me this uh, honor. Um, Her Majesty is 96. Isn't that incredible? Uh, yeah. yes. 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 I mean, it, it, it's, it takes your breath away. You see, I remember I was a child when Her Majesty first visited Nigeria, where I grew up. They were fabric printed with her beautiful face, because so she was the young queen. And those fabrics, you could still see them now, actually. I mean, they were still there 20 years later. And the amazing thing is that my mother was studying in the London School of Fashion, and she was recruited with a lot of young ladies to sew pearls and beads on Her Majesty's coronation gown. Incredible, really. And years later, her and my dad were guests on a diplo at a diplomatic banquet at Buckingham Palace. Wow. But never in a million years would I have imagined that I would come to Britain and meet Her Majesty the Queen more than 12 times. I mean, wow. it's incredible. And never would I have dreamt that I would be on the steering committee for Her Majesty's Golden Jubilee celebrations in 2002. And for that, I organized almost single-handedly 5,000 gospel singers and led them up the mile to Buckingham Palace. It is just, it's so incredible, it can only be God. Seriously. Because if I try to organize my life the way it has turned out, I could never even have gone anywhere close to that. Her Majesty has, in a sense, been impactful in my life in so many ways. And also, uh, we will never, never see another monarch reign this long. No, no, no. Never. Not in our lifetime. And that is such an honor. <laughs> <laughs> I see you all as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, to our wonderful, wonderful, I stand here humble before God for what he has done for me, but I stand here proud, and I, I thank you for giving me this honor. Thank you so much, Andrew. Okay. Yeah. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in wishing our wonderful, beautiful queen, 96th happy birthday. Yeah. And can we sing happy birthday to We can. Oh, brilliant. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you sing and we listen. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy Sunday, I saw on the BBC the Queen, it was called the program called The Queen 70 Glorious Years. This clip of me leading the 5,000 gospel singers that I, I have to keep saying it single handedly organized for Her Majesty's Golden Jubilee in 2002. Well, when I set out to organize, 3,000 gospel singers at the Royal Albert Hall 
for my charity. It was a fledgling charity at the time, Support for Africa, which has now built, thank God, five healthcare clinics and a school. The school actually is with Prince, Char Prince Harry's charity, but we have built five healthcare clinics in Africa, in villages in Africa. But at the Royal Albert Hall, the event was directed by Dougie Squires OBE, MVO, and produced by Major Sir Michael Parker. Amazing man, absolutely wonderful. He used to be Her Majesty's equerry. I had no idea when I was organizing this concert, reaching out for Africa, that God will bless me with an invitation to be a member of Her Majesty's steering committee, member of the steering committee for Her Majesty's Golden Jubilee. My goodness, my role was to gather 5,000 gospel singers and, you know, for the pageant and lead them down the mile to Buckingham Palace. Anything is possible with God. I promise you, anything is possible. Well, on the day of the pageant, we had to meet, we lined up at Pall Mall just waiting for the you know signal from major sir michael parker to come up the mile well i was supposed to walk round and get to the stage at buckingham palace but the crowd there were oh, there were two million people can you imagine so i couldn't so michael called on the walkie talkie and said you can't not walk through you we will never find you so why don't you lead the five thousand down the mile how good is god so I, I led the 5,000 down the mile. It was, oh my goodness, a choral spectacular. Uh, it was just, you know, I, I wrote song. I wrote a song, the Jubilee song, Celebrate Good News, for the choirs to sing. We sang things like Amen, um, This Little Light of Mine, just walking down the mile. We had 25 minutes to do it, and we did it to the dot. 25 minutes it was absolutely fantastic the fact that it took me 12 months 18 hours a day uh, seven days a week meant nothing when I was walking down that mile we were actually you know I knew everyone was going to be waving the British flag fantastic but I wanted my 5,000 to be different so what I requested each one of them to bring a meter long ribbons, red, white, and blue ribbons. One meter long, three inches thick. They looked spectacular. And of course I had stagecoach, you know, final year students, and they were in yellow t-shirts. So I, I placed them in the shape of H so that when they were filming or showing them from the helicopter, these days they use drones, but when they were showing them from the helicopter that we would see the, the letter H. It was just fantastic. In front of the 5,000, I had the police gospel choir. It was quite exciting. <laughs> it was really, but when we started off, they looked like they were arresting the crowd because they were in uniform. So I said to them, can you please just shed your jacket? And they were glad to, because apparently it was really hot. And they were pleased and it looked incredible. So in front of them, I put the sun dancers who had appeared for us at the Royal Abbot Hall, who were wearing beautiful reddish orange outfit. It was just fantastic. And I was wearing literally up, just deep yellow on the day and it just set off the whole thing. It was, oh, it was spectacular. And to hear the crowd singing as we were going along because we chose songs that they knew as well. Oh, it's, oh, I have a just big thank you to Major Sir Michael Parker, um, Sir Robin Jambrin and Dougie's choirs and everyone involved. It was just wonderful. The committee, you know, 12 of us on the committee, what a privilege that was, what an honor. And we had meetings at Buckingham Palace and uh, it was lovely. It was lovely to see the Queen walk in unexpected, you know, during the meeting. Just fantastic. And, you know, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of the pictures 
the queen signed you know for me doing um for being part of the I'm so proud of it i'll keep saying it over and over again for the rest of my life and um I have to say that I organized that 5,000 without a penny, without a single penny from the Jubilee Trust of fund. And that was why when I asked Sir Michael if, because I wanted it to look good, you know, I thought we needed flags, we needed something that waved in the wing. And I said to him, can we fly a family flag? Nobody could read it. You know, it didn't matter, except to people, miserable people who complain, and, you know, whatever their problem is. Anyway, that's your problem. And, you know, we, I was allowed because they know I didn't even get a drop from the, the Jubilee Fund. So that was something else, too. And let me show you this, okay? This is the Jubilee Program, Golden Jubilee Program. At the back. It's a beautiful image of Her Majesty the Queen and at the front, well, I was absolutely, actually there were about three pages or four pages that mentioned me in this program and this is the center page. That's me and that was a picture from the Royal Abbot Hall. Somewhere in there is Sir Cliff Richard and Maisie Williams of Bonnier <laughs> and all the children that appeared. You know, part of the 3,000 gospel singers, those children were dancing also on stage. It was just incredible. And let me tell you how Her Majesty has impacted my life and my career. Well, I was very little when Her Majesty came to visit Nigeria. She was young, our young queen, and oh my goodness. And then be given the honor of being one of 12 people on the steering committee for Her Majesty's Golden Jubilee. Oh, I mean, nothing could top that. Nothing could top that. That can only be God. And I thank Major Sir Michael Parker for just giving me this opportunity. And I thank him for what he said in the Jubilee program about me. If you want a copy of this, by the way, if you were um, part of my choir, um, I've got a few copies left. So first come, first serve. If you want a copy of this, I've still got a few copies left. So get in touch with me about that. Okay. Now, if you want to read more about this, because it's in my book, which is available on Amazon, and uh, and every good bookshop okay um you can find the rest of this story there you know when we did the the golden jubilee i don't understand when people write in to complain and i hear even with the platinum jubilee oh everybody's up in arms with um rod stewart's none of your damn business people please just enjoy enjoy it's a time of goodwill. We're celebrating Her Majesty. Don't be miserable, okay? Don't depress yourself over things you don't need to depress yourself over. People complained after the Golden Jubilee that I was allowed to fly whatever flag. You know, all I can say is Oniswaki Mali Bonds. Okay? Go look it up if you don't understand what I'm saying. But the Queen's 70th glorious years is just going to be edged in my life and in my mind do you know i i am so pleased because i feel <laughs> it's like answer to personal prayer because when we got to in front of the palace and the concord flew by with the harrier jets and we started singing everybody started singing god save the queen i know the song backwards i've known it since i was young but I was praying that God would grant Her Majesty many more jubilees. Okay, I just thought she would live as long as Methuselah. But I am so pleased, so thankful to God that she's celebrated Platinum Jubilee. It's a pity that the Prince Philip wasn't standing next to her, but I know too well that he is standing next to her whether you could see him or not. Okay, just this has been the most amazing experience of my life and my career and I wanted to share this with you. God bless you all. Thank you for your good wishes and for watching this video.